In this video, we're going to show how to remove and repair the front bumper and grill of a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. Okay, let's get this started. Tools I basically used is your normal flat tip screwdriver, your standard Phillips head screwdriver, 3 8 ratchet, a little extension, and everybody's infamous friend, 10 millimeter socket. We know how valuable the 10 millimeters are, so let's not lose it. Okay, first we'll start with the damage. It was basically done at an intersection. We were sitting at a red light, it just rolled into the car in front of us. That's all it was. Go to American Plastic, it shows damage much more than it actually is. As you can tell by the video here, we're going to repair the two upright posts on the grill. We're going to glue them back in position. And we're also going to repair the ram center emblem. Should be a fairly simple job. Now the top of the grill has two 10 millimeter bolts and two plastic trees. As you'll see here, and if you look close, there will be two little indents on the top of that plastic clip. Just set your screwdriver in that little groove there and twist. The center piece will come up and it, it'll pop right out. Now, as you see here, those two plastic tabs, you got to be really careful because the heat of the engine will dry that plastic out. And when you go to pull it straight up, one or two of those clips will break off. This is a common problem. Just take your time. Now the 10 millimeter bolts are fairly loose. There are no nuts on this job. The bolts bolt into the, the metal retaining clip that just snaps on the plastic hole. So you don't have to worry about dropping any nuts. You just unscrew the bolt and put the bolt securely where you won't lose it. With this type of vehicle, I like to set them up underneath the windshield on that plastic ledge. It has a lip all the way around it, so I don't have a chance of any items rolling off or being lost. Now we're going to take the rear of the grill off. Basically, just pull the bumper out and slide the plastic piece up. This, in normal situations, clips together, but with the damage, it just unsnapped itself. Now when you do this, you want to rotate your tires so you have access to it. Both sides, passenger and driver, have two screws and one 10 millimeter bolt. Again, there's no nut, it's just a bolt that unbolts downwards. And when you're doing this, be very careful because you are only screwing into that plastic wheel well. It does not take much to strip it. Uh, you will find the screws may already be stripped on your vehicle. I don't recommend using a power drill. Just a good patience with a Phillips screwdriver. You'll be able to unscrew this thing. And again, by all means, keep track of these little screws, little clips, the bolts. Put them in one central location and you should be easy to go. This, the bolt here looks like it's in a terrible position, but it's actually at a great angle. With the extension, it is straight 90 degrees from the road. Pop that extension on that bolt and be patient because it is a very long threaded bolt. It will take a while to unbolt this thing. Uh, as you hear, this one here is kind of struggling, but once it gets free enough, just snap that uh, ratchet right off there and un unscrew it by hand. And again, it's a long threaded bolt. Okay, now you have the three, two screws and a bolt off. This is what you'll see. The bumper cover will slide down. You will see two plastic tabs. Those are just guiding tabs. They don't lock in position. They just guide up into those holes on the top of the fender. 
it's the same exact method just jump in the car start it up crank your wheels like you're turning left and then you can do the passenger side again take your time on screwing these uh, that plastic will strip them out pretty good and again this is a voiceover recording I'm not talking to the camera as I'm doing this job the day I'm doing this the neighborhood was quite loud uh, we have people hanging out in an empty lot next door thumping their radios making noise girls across the street having fun being teenagers being extremely loud and giggly and squawky and, and Brandon working on a house we got the air compressor going we got the air gun going so I'm just muted the whole video and I'm just doing a voiceover it's something new to me as well so I'm hoping it works out good for you So now we got the passenger side taken off. That's all that's really holding this part of the bumper on. <clears throat> now comes the fun part. I did not put the camera underneath the car for this as it was dark under there. Even the flashlight wouldn't have done it any justice. What I'm doing here is there are four trees, plastic tree clips, which you'll see here shortly, that just push straight into the plastic underneath the car what it is is those trees are holding the black air dam onto the white part of the bumper what I tried to do is get my screwdriver in there slide the tree out but I found it much better as you'll see by this grill bouncing up and down is I just grabbed the air dam and just pulled it straight down and pulled the tree right out of the plastic again these are another a different style than what was on the top but you have to be really careful because with this plastic it can be very brittle so just be patient with it and if you do break these your local auto parts store has numerous different types of clips you just find one that matches it so again you can see the struggling under there And I'll show you there's there is four these are the clips I'm talking about it just pushes straight in there's no centerpiece for it and put on them ridges they're almost disposable so just do the best you can on saving them okay now I'm going to take the bumper cover off the grill piece has tabs that lock into the bumper cover during this little fiasco the basically the chrome grill just unpopped itself out of there but the way you take the bumper cover off is you grab it from the front corners and you lift the bumper up at an angle and then slide it off the tabs and I'm looking for doing here is I found a tab that was busted on mine a guide tab so that's what I was looking for now this van is equipped with driving lights some of them don't have them if you do they're really simple to remove if you don't have them just go ahead and skip this step again this is all plastic under here with the heat you got to be really careful there's little clips on these that hold the socket into the housing when you go to lift over the tab of the light you may chance snapping that plastic clip on this light it is common luckily ours didn't uh, had to fight with it for a little bit on one side but again there's two clips on each side all you have to do is release one of the clips and then light will pop right out of the housing just like that and at that point the grill is off the car and I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the two last clips for that chrome grill as you will see I made the boo-boo and I broke one of the clips which will be added to my gluing list 
I will have to now glue another piece to fix this car. It's not very hard. It's just a basic snap. There's the little piece I both broke off. And on the back, you see there's, there's the clips there. Just make sure you got it in the same direction as the other clips. There's little lips on the clips. I'll set that aside, glue it together, let it all dry. Now, the place, places I'm going to glue is besides that chrome grill you saw, is where the 10 millimeter bolts go up on top. I'm going to line them as close as I can, glue them in position, put the grill back together. It's not going to be lined up exactly perfect because when the incident happened, it was hot, and then it won't cool down, and it got hot, it cooled down, it got hot, it cooled down, plastic warps. I'm just going to do the best I can. And that is the final project. Thank you. Thank you very much. I couldn't have done it all your support. Slide, I'm going to show you before and after slides. While I'm doing that, I'm going to explain I did not record the reinstallation of everything because it just snaps back. The, the grill snapped into the bumper cover. The bumper cover just locked back in position on the truck. Bolted the wheel wells first. Pushed in the pins from the bottom. There's the four pins. Pushed those in and I mounted the four screws and amount of the four bolts and the plastic trees up on top of the car.